uh, steals. We're going to have to watch it a little bit. Get it into Poku in the corner. See what he's going to be trying to do, which is absolutely nothing to stop him. <laughs> Poku gets inside. Duncan over Magic. Oh, my. Dark Matter Alexei Popuchevsky. I think that's actually relatively correct. <laughs> if it's not, I apologize. But this dude is absolutely insane, especially for a next-gen card. Man, a 7-foot shooting guard point guard it doesn't get much better than that with a seven foot three wingspan my dude still sadly has the jump shot 30 base but it is on very quick but it will be mildly slow so you do have to uh, be aware of that that's a scotty pippen jumper um only him and alexi or poku we'll call him poku for the rest of the video um share this jumper he does curry slide he can pro three behind the back and all this wonderful stuff he won't be the greatest current gen pg i will say that you should focus on some of the other cards as well as the one that's coming later after this poku gameplay in rudy gay but on next gen, this Poku is going to be one of the best cards basically in the game. And it's going to be super fun to check him out and have some fun. But before we get into that, hit that subscribe button because we are nearly at 10k. And we do have a sponsor for today's video, which we got to show out right now. If you need your 12-0 unlimited domination, TTO, or even more services grinded, go contact Rose MBA on Twitter right now at twitter.com slash r6 credits sell. Link in the description down below. And now that that's done, we can get in to the wonderful, the beautiful man that is Poku out here. You can see the 99 offense, 99 defensive overall with that 7 foot height as you would expect from Greece. Kind of cool, man. Kind of cool. Uh, you can see we have a 90 post fade, post hook, and post control. So if we wanted to, we really can go into the post and have some fun. We got a 94 mid range, a three point shot. So he's going to be lighting it up from three at 89 free throw. So you know he's dropping it down. A 90 standing and a 95 dropping dunk. So on top of being able to you know, shoot in the post, shoot from deep. We can also dunk on literally everybody. We can play make with the best of them and play that point guard position perfectly. We have a 92 block steal and perimeter defense with a 89 interior. So the defense is absolutely primed. 85 of both rebounding and 94 speed, speed ball and acceleration on a seven footer is unreal. He feels lightning quick. You can see it on um, you know, the footage you're watching right now. It is wild how fast this poku moves then we have 57 hall of fame badges when you're on uh, next gen and eight gold which is pretty cool and as you would expect when there's 57 hall of fame badges you're really not missing out on too much uh my guy has every single defensive badge hall of fame but three has almost every single hall of fame shooting badge and almost every single hall of fame finishing badge it is just absolutely unreal i mean look at that deep threes pro touch silly finisher downhill quick first step he's got a needle threader down there unpluckable sniper green machine hot zone hunter and to nobody's surprise every single hot zone in the game bullet passer because we know why the hell not clutch defender hot stopper and the eight um, gold badges like cheer dropper off ball pass lob city and tight handles and that i are just there a little bit you know help out poku make him just a little bit easier um, than he already is so am i gonna say that poku is an absolutely you know unreal number one card in the game definitely not jump shot 30 definitely is a bit of a slower jumper it's definitely one that you want to be a little bit careful with so you know beware of that but i do think that he is seriously going to be a competitor for that top pg spot just because of how tall he is and because you know taller people are literally running next gen right now everybody's got you know all six seven and above lineups so poku is gonna fit right in with all the cheese so if you're excited for this poku gameplay make sure you hit that like button down below comment what you think of this poku as we get on throughout the video and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel we are very very close like 45 subs away at the time of recording from hitting 10k subscribers so please hit that subscribe button and without further ado let's get to the gameplay with dark matter poku all right here we go wiseman versus wiseman let's throw this one back to poku and just have a fun time out here he does have luka Doncic, which is going to be an interesting shout and let's just hop through oh get him into the screen already sidestep with poku in the talk already this man is going to be a blast to use i can already feel it all right let's have a poku roll through looks like he's gonna try to jump that pass or just kind of make sure he stays with us which is perfectly fine by me oh curry slide up into oblivion and green with poku five points right now man i don't know if he's ready uh for the poku train to just come through all right we'll have it as the pass and screen away just to have some fun and again let's curry slide it and cheese up with poku the dunk over kevin durant nice and easy i think that's the invincible as well which is kind of cool I, I, I like the squad, man. All right, more Poku cheese out here, and he's uh, doing his best to stop it with Luka Doncic as he just cheeses through and gets the dunk right there. Nine points with Poku. We are just absolutely isoing the hell out of this Luka, and it's, been, it's, it's a fun time, I can't lie. 
There we go. Good steal by Wiseman. We'll throw that back up to Poku. Snatch it back just a little bit to space out the floor. Get inside and Poku. Jeez it away and drop it down the midi. I think he has the normal leaner, which is unreal, man. Oh, there we go, Bill Russell. Nice steal. We got Poku out running the break, and we'll just take it easy right now. Terry is on him, and we almost just actually walked back behind the half court. Poku looking a little bit open. Scared Terry right there and get the layup right there. He thought we were taking that little three-point shot, but the reason a little slow, so I'll be careful with those. All right, here we go. We got Poku in the corner with eight seconds. Get him right into that. He is stepping up with Dino, but not stopping us from going right to the paint. And getting a quick little file to check out Poku. I think he has 89 for his free throw. So we should be able to uh, drop these pretty easy. There we go. Nice little green light. Got a nice free throw animation. A little bit quick. For a guy that's 7 foot. Thought it'd be a little slower. But you know what? They're both falling. He's got 17 points. And an all around uh, super solid game. All right. Poku's been having a little bit of a tough time against this Magic Johnson. But not that time as he gets right in and dunks it. This uh, Magic actually has been cooking up a little bit. Which is beta. The defense a little bit tough. But the offense not too bad. Still 9 to 13. And a 33% contested white falls. Man, I just cannot make this stuff up. I'm so tired. Everybody just hitting whites. Like, absolutely wild guys out here. But look at Poku. Get an open. It will drop down to Kareem because we can time him to release pretty well. And he's got his sharpshoot takeover now, which is going to be a, a pretty fun time. I'll say that. Yeah, we go bull bull with the board. And, oh, his strategy of just stepping up in front, trying to get those uh, steals. We're going to have to watch it a little bit. Get it into Poku in the corner. See what he's going to be trying to do, which is absolutely nothing to stop him. Poku gets inside. Duncan over Magic. Oh, my Lord. What a cheesy PG. Here we go. Poku getting the... Uh, apparently, that was a block steal thing. I don't know what the hell it was. But Manu is open in the corner. And he'll green that off the Poku pass. 30 and 1. I think I need to start getting everybody else involved a little bit. Because Poku's cheesing, but we need everybody involved. All right, here we are, Poku on Luka out here. And you know what? He's playing a little far back, so we'll just green up the three. 35 and 1 for Poku. And I think he's got a steal, maybe a block? I don't even know, but he's he's killing the game, and what a scary pass. There we go, Manu with the steal right there. We got Poku on the fast break, and Terry's picking him up as well as Luka, which he did not get the memo for. Terry, gonna let us get right inside and get that... Uh, Double clutch dunk, nice and easy, 45 for 43, not bad. All right, more time to have some Poku fun against the Luka, and I don't know where the hell he's going, but open three, drop it down, 40th point for Poku, and I thought I was going to three-point hunt, but I didn't think he was leaving us that wide open. All right, Poku having some fun again. Let's see what he's doing, or just what he's not doing, letting us inside again, and sharpshooter take over. Yep, Poku's having some fun here. There we go. Poku shutting down Magic and getting his first rebound of the game. Kind of surprised at that. Like, I know he's the PG, but I don't know. Just expected a uh, little bit more in the rebounding category. And now let's drive because he's not expecting it. And woo Poku dunking right by Chris Middleton having a great time. And I see a lot of people running this Middleton, so maybe I got to give him a try. There we go. James Wiseman with the board. We got Poku on the fast break. Nobody's guarding him. Not even TJ Warren. And there's the dunk right over him. Oh, my Lord. Reverse. 48-1-2 for Poku. He's just having a... A great time out here, just <laughs> running around and dunking. There we go, Bill Russell, the board, Poku, the break. Let's try to sidestep it, and he doesn't even try to play defense with Mo Mamba. So there's his 50th point of the game. Sadly, four fouls, though. All right, so here's the inbox score with Poku. 55 points, he got a rebound, two assists. Sadly, a steal, five turnovers because he just kept getting bump steals. You know, that's the problem that you run into when you run these taller guys. Uh, 23 of 32 from the field and 5 of 8 from 3, 4 of 4 from the free throw, but 5 fouls. I had to play it safe with Poku. We lost by 3 because I literally just could not do anything too crazy on defense with Poku because he had 5 fouls and I didn't want to get him fouled out. So, overall, is Poku a top PG? No. And that's because of the release, but I do think you could probably put him up in that, like, you know, if we were putting a whole tier list and everybody's up in, you know, the demon tier, I think he would just be in the A, you know. There's the S, there's the A tier. I think he'd be in the A tier because he's good, but that jumper really holds him back. There's just some, you know, spots where a guy like Luka could just chuck up a three where, you know, Poku just can't because his release is a little bit too slow, and that's thanks to the Scotty Pippen or Jump Shot 30 just being, you know, 
tough. So, is he great defensively and all that sort of stuff? Absolutely. Luka really wasn't scoring too much. It was the other guys out there, like Middleton and things like that, which is crazy to say, magic. But Poku was still a great, a super fun card uh, that I actually really liked running. Uh, definitely worth around 100k that I have paid for him, for sure. Uh, super fun and super nice card. Let me know what you personally think of Poku down in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you did enjoy, and hit that subscribe button, notifications, and all that wonderful stuff, because we do have a Rudy Gay gameplay dropping right after this one. You're going to want to check that one out. Uh, hope you have a great yesterday, and I will see you in the next video.